Just days ago, federal officials made their stand against bath salts. They raided businesses and made arrests. And today, community members in Batavia continued their stand against the synthetic drugs. There are many people in Batavia who want to beat bath salts, but when some community members started organizing a fundraiser and awareness campaign, they learned that there's a lot of work to be done. Since I've organized this, I had 20 people stop at the place and tell me I'm a jerk for doing it, for ruining their good time, and it's just, I don't care. I don't care if I'm ruining their good time. It's not, not something I want around. Okay. I want to raise my family in this town. I don't want to have to deal with people like that. These folks want to educate people on the synthetic drugs known as bath salts. Let them know the real effects. I think because it started out being legal that they thought that it was okay and they don't understand the long-term ramifications of it. They're selling raffle tickets and charging people to literally beat bath salts by destroying a donated junker van. <laughs> Taking out their frustrations about the problems the synthetic drugs have caused the Batavia community. The money raised will go to the emergency room, which is greatly affected by bath salts users. Over the weekend, we get it at least once a day. We get at least one case a day. Of, usually it's young people, teenagers. Apparently they told me they have to hire security at the emergency room now because of it. The organizers say since the big bath salts bus made days ago, they've already seen an improvement, but they don't expect the bus to cure the problem. It's only a start. Just because you shut them down doesn't mean they're not going to be back out there again in some way, shape, or form. Um, we all know that that's the way it is with other drugs. The issue is everybody knows about other drugs. They don't know about this drug, and they need to know about it because it's very important.